friends, my dear masters, my dear guards, Namaste to all. Welcome to the today's session. Namaste. Good morning and good day. Yes, good morning. Matar Foundation conducting 21 days holistic wellness program, batch 3. It's every day schedule. And day 15 topics The Essence of Bhagavad Gita, The Holistic Lifestyle, The Essence of Bhagavad Gita, especially. So, this was the continuation of uh, the last week we had. So, The Essence of Bhagavad Gita by Dr. Edlapalli Mohan Rao, sir. So, we will be inviting him shortly. So, The Essence of Bhagavad Gita, which is very, very essential wisdom, the eternal wisdom we are going to receive from the uh, Gita Acharya. The holistic lifestyle, today we will see at uh, what exactly is fasting and benefits and we also try to understand Dhyarana Sekti Mudra today. Let's let's start the, the essence of Bhagavad Gita. So our uh, today's our speaker, so which we all, uh, every, every one of us know, familiar with uh, Gita Acharya, we have been listening his uh, program. Even the last uh, session we have uh, gone through, so we don't need much introduction. So the speaker, our speaker today is Gita Acharya, Dr. Edlapalli Mohan Rao, sir. So I invite Edlapalli Mohan Rao, sir. So namaste to you. And um, so I request you to take over the session, sir. Start the session of uh, Bhagavad Gita, Essence of Bhagavad Gita. Okay. Thank you, sir. Namaskar, namaskar Mohan Garu Guruji. Namaste, namaste. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Subodayam. Namaskar. Subodayam. So, Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Param Brahma, Rasmai Sri, Gurave, Namaha, Akhinda Mandalakaram, Vyaptam Yena Characharam, Tat Padam Darshitam Yena, Rasmai Sri, Gurave, Namaha. Sloka and Mali. Once again, I will repeat. Akanda Mandala Karam, Akanda Mandala Karam, Vyaptam Yena, Chara Acharam, Chara Acharam, Tat Padam Darshitam Yena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. And Sahanao to Sahanao, one of the Sahabirium Karavai, Tejasinavati, Tamas to Ma, Vishavai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, Om Trimbakam Yamahe. Sugandim In our uh, central government educational department, uh, the department emblem um, is inside that emblem, it is written Vidyaya Amruta Masnute. Vidyaya Amrutam Asmute. So, by Vidya, I will use the same word as Vidya. Not even education or anything. Vidyaya. By Vidya, you will, you will simple words if you want to say, Asmute means you will eat. But actually, the real other meaning is you will experience Amruta. Amrutam means a deathlessness, that is eternity. So, Vidyaya Amrutam Amrutam Asmute. So, by, by Vidya, you will experience uh, eternity, deathlessness, no death at all. Not worried about this thing. Such is the our education falls. And uh, when everybody is dying and everybody is always uh, trying to survive um, in so many ways, and while uh, thinking and uh, doing certain things for survival, you, the people are always experiencing pressure, tension, fear at various levels. Because whatever is anybody does to survive, the bo this body will not survive. That is the reality. So whenever a person is thinking of survival, Knowingly, unknowingly, 
the reality that the body cannot survive will come to the question what will happen to me how to survive when this question comes the real answer is this body cannot survive so how to maintain the body and make this body and utilize the body in a proper way before it leaves because the ultimately this body comes and goes and it leaves it has got a time, maximum time so minimum time we cannot say because something happens and anything to the body but but otherwise people are not thinking how to utilize this body which is temporary how to maintain it properly so that it will be effective how to maintain it uh, with a higher level of health and just um, um, our uh, um, uh, our coordinator is uh, telling giving so many tips uh, about uh, health and other uh, things for proper proper maintenance of the body and the health so that we can be more effective so this is what we have to think rather than how to um, how to survive survive uh, this body itself is uh, temporary whatever even if the 800 crore people support you if you, even if all the gods support you also this body has got a, a temporary in nature and uh, even the greatest people even what we, we consider them as avatars even they came and they left that their, their body that is including sankracharya gita uh, sri krishna sri krishna sri krishna bhagavan or uh, any other rama no no one uh, was uh, continuing with his body for long and they were also born and changed and they left the body. So, one, a person who knows this much knowledge, who is having the awareness of this knowledge that this body is uh, a changing thing and it is temporary and it is available to us for a short time. So, then he will only think of how to utilize the body instead of thinking of how to survive. So, this is the simple common sense. And what Bhagavad Gita gives is, what is that Vijaya? Vijaya Amrutam Asnute. By education, that is by knowing, by, by Vijaya, I will use the, continue to use Vijaya. What is Vijaya? Vijaya Amrutam Asnute. So you will experience, you start experiencing eternity. Then how to start experiencing eternity when the body is, Definitely, it has got time, and it will it can it will not be there for long. Then, then we should know who are, who am I, and what is my relation with this this body? What I am having, and what this shirt I am having certain relation. This this books I am having relation. This um, house I am having relation. My car is there. I have got certain utility, certain um, relation with that. I will use it for whenever it is required. Like that, all my things, uh, I have got certain utility and certain relation and uh, certain maintenance and uh, all these things are uh, there. But then then what is the relation between myself and this my body? So this, this difference. So Vijaya, what is Vijaya means? The, as per uh, the Bhagavad Gita, the real wisdom, the real, real wisdom is knowing the difference between I and mine in a very simple language. So, today my aim is to make Bhagavad Gita very simple for you. Generally, people are afraid of Bhagavad Gita also because uh, such a big, big volumes. So, in between, anybody asking any question, I'll be happy so that uh, the subject will be much more useful to all of you, even if a simple, ordinary question comes from you, from anyone of you, anyone you want to know. Okay. So someone I am able to see in my friend, I think almost my age. Huh? Mm, okay. <clears throat> Madam, you, you, Give me a number between 0 to 9. Sir, me? 0 to 9. Any, any, 
ఎనీ నంబర్ ఎస్ ఎనీ నంబర్ just for the sake of this thing i will i will start from 18th chapter back 18th chapter second shloka is kamyanam karmanam nyasam sanyasam tavayo vidu sarva karma phala tyagam prahur tyagam vishakshana that is 18th chapter second shloka then coming to 7 17th chapter second shloka త్రివిధాభవతి శ్రద్ధ దేహినాం సా స్వభావజ సాత్వికీ రాజసీ చైవ తామసీ చేతి తాను దెన్ సిక్స్టీన్త్ శ్లోక అహింస సత్యమ క్రోధ త్యాగశాంతి రపైసరం దయాభూతేషు అలోలుప్తం మార్దవం హ్రీర్ అచాపలం కమింగ్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ అదశోర్ధం పరుస్తాత్ శాఖ గుణ ప్రవృద్ధ విషయ ప్రవాలాహ అదశ్య మూలాన్ అనుసంతతాని కర్మాను బంధీని మనుష్య లోకే ఫిఫ్టీన్త్ చాప్టర్ సెకండ్ ఫోర్టీన్త్ చాప్టర్ సెకండ్ ఇదం జ్ఞానము పాశ్రిత్య మమ సాధన్యం ఆగతాహ సర్గేపి నోపజాయంతే ప్రళయే నా వ్యదంతి చా సో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఫోర్టీన్త్ చాప్టర్ ఇస్ ఓవర్ థర్టీన్త్ ఇదం శరీరం కౌంతేయ క్షేత్రమిత్యభిధీయతే ఏతద్ యో వేతి తం ప్రాహు క్షేత్రజ్ఞ ఇది తద్విద థర్టీన్త్ దెన్ ట్వెల్త్ చాప్టర్ సెకండ్ మై ఆవేశమనోయే మాం నిత్యయుక్త ఉపాసతే శ్రద్ధయా పరయోపేతాహ తే మే ఇత్తమా మతాహ నెక్స్ట్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద లెవెంత్ చాప్టర్ ఓకే భవాప్య ఏహి భూతానాం శృతవ్ విస్తర సోమయ త్వత్త కమలపుత్రాక్ష మాహాత్మ్యమపి చ అవ్యయం దెన్ టెన్త్ శ్లోక న మే విదుర్ సురగణా ప్రభవం న మహర్షయ అహం ఆదిర్హి దేవానాం మహర్షీనాం చ సర్వశ this uh, a little explanation i give so before i will come down so he says even name vidur suragana prabhavam na maharshayah so even all the gods what we know devatalu antam kada all the gods also do not know who am i all the rishis who do tapas and all that name vidur suragana and all the uh, gods none of the gods know, know about me prabhavam na maharshayah maharshi rishi maharshi and a great rishi is called maharshi even maharshi is also they do not know because i am before all these people they came later so i am there in right from the beginning they, none of these people know about me he says but uh, you are you have last session if you were there present uh, you would have understood uh, uh, who is bhagavan <laughs> already so what what could not cannot be understood by gods devatas and what cannot be understood by rishis and all that if you are having keen interest and just to follow my words and introspect into yourself you will you will find the real absolute truth non changing truth that is bhagavan that is paramatma that is param brahma okay i think last session whoever was there that that is revealed and you may have still because only one thing the subject is it is very delicate and only with your keen interest and with your own investigation about yourself you will be able to understand not by any amount of telling so when i ask question if you, if you think and answer from your very thinking itself the truth will be revealed about yourself so so what is impossible to rishis and uh, devatas also we are that, that's why in bhagavad gita so many times it, it is told it is guhyam uh, guhyataram guhyatamam <laughs> superlative guhyam in secret secret guhyataram so more secret guhyatamam the highest secret so sokshmam sokshmam means subtle subtle very de- see even even air we cannot see normally but the movement of the air we can observe but the space we cannot see, visualize at all so the true self that is bhagavan is subtler than subtler than even space so and he is all pervading and he is at zero distance with, with from us so because you whoever has got the real wisdom he knows that i am the truth 
I am the absolute truth. Like in Chetcha also it is written, I am the only truth, it is written. Entire Bhagavad Gita talks about you and your true nature, absolute true nature as the true nature is the truth, nothing else. And that truth is nothing but Parabrahma or Paramatma or the Bhagavan, whichever name you want to call, you can call Allah also, you can call Yehova also. But not Yesu Christu, who is body come, came and gone. Okay? So, now, I will complete the rest of the nine, uh, these things also. Such a thing, I want to make it so, because earlier also I have shown, this much is the average size of Bhagavad Gita. The average size. And uh, there are some books, uh, four volumes like this put together, also one Bhagavad Gita, Sundar Chaitanya has uh, written. After seeing this, uh, even I cannot read it in this Iskan book even once. Such a small letter, so much of matter is given. So, but I want you not to get perturbed and I, I want to see the Bhagavad Gita is so simple. In fact, you can start uh, giving the entire message of the Bhagavad Gita from your inside itself. If suppose a thousand children of 8th, 9th, 10th class are made to sit before us and we start go going on putting questions, simple questions for example, because children cannot uh, uh, give continuous speech. Small, small, simple, simple questions if you go on putting, all the thousand people will give the same answer and those answers are nothing but Bhagavad Gita. I will not tell them anything. I will only go on asking questions, simpler, simpler questions and the answer will be all people will be giving the same answer and such answers, if you write into a book, it becomes Bhagavad Gita. Understand? But see, some yes, people who are MBA, PhD and all that and all that, so they know, they, they know, they think they know a lot. They develop ego and with that ego cover, they will not be able to see themselves. Because externally life, I am great. I am, I am, I am, I have done PhD. I am head of the department. I am, I am so great. If these egos are, are that is there, aham is different from ahankara. Self is different from the ego. Ego is a, 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 a physical form. It's not just physical, even mental form. I am great means there is no great physical form. But we think I am great. I am a teacher. I am this thing. Teacher, there is no nothing like a physical. Teacher is a, a, the type of work what we are doing. Actor, teacher, like that. Brother, sister, it is never there. It does not, does not have any shape. But it is an identification that we bring. And if you get stuck up, suppose... You are a doctor. Some people, if you do not call them doctor, they feel very bad because they, they get stuck up with the thought that I am a doctor. Fix. So, I, is, I also like that. You, my, some lady says my husband is IAS officer. But every, every uh, IAS officer cannot be her husband. My husband is a IPS officer. Every IPS officer cannot be her husband. So, these are all the brought in relations, does not, nothing is there from inside. These are all brought in forms and identities. And when you leave all the identities apart, then only you will realize yourself, which is the real truth, absolute truth. And, and that absolute truth is common to each one and each and every one of us. So, I, let me complete the balance uh, nine, ninth chapter. Tenth chapter is over. Ninth chapter. Rajavijja, Rajavukyam, Pavitram, Idam, Uttamam, Pratyakshavagamam, Dharmyam, Susukam, Kartum, Avyayam. Here also I want to give a little explanation. He says, the absolute truth, that is the Paramatma or the Bhagava, is in your direct experience. He is at a zero distance to you. He cannot be revealed through your five senses, but he is directly being experienced by you with your intellect. Your intellect knows 
not the mind or not the mind is stuck up with the five senses and mind knows only the information that is received through five senses but the what is at zero distance what do you are experiencing always through your intellect and but only thing because our mind is always uh, caught up with the things what are uh, connected through five senses uh, we forget our true self which is in our direct experience because we do not uh, uh, give value to a non physical thing in the process uh, the most important self we are forgetting and the forms what we acquire on the self that we that we are getting stuck up see nobody will say my shat is more important than me because if the shat shat carries fire immediately i will throw it like that they are important only to some extent but if i get stuck up and if if some stains a markal badini and code stains they are there then I, i start feeling very bad about it that is sorrow but what i want is happiness that is my true nature but when i get stuck up with a shirt which is with some stains i lose all my happiness which is my i forget my true nature that is happiness so true nature is happiness only for happiness need not be got from outside but when i my mind gets stuck up with outside things and gives importance to the to that and if the it thinks if only if this is like this only i can be happy you are forgetting about your own true nature which is uh, absolute bliss eternal bliss non changing bliss is our nature okay now coming to eighth chapter adhi yagnah kadam ko atra adhibhutam cha kim proktam adhi daivam kim uchate prayan kale cha kadam gneyosi netatma bihi that is eighth uh, this thing seventh gnanam teham sa vignanam idam vakshyami aseshatah ya gnatva na neh bhuyo anyat gnatavyam avashishyate by knowing which you need not know anything else i am going to tell that knowledge completely by knowing which once you know that you are eternal nothing need to be known for survival because you are eternal by yourself so ज्ञानम ते अहम स विज्ञानम इदम वक्ष्यामि अशेषतः य ज्ञात्वा न न नेह भूयो अन्य ज्ञातव्यम अवशिष्यते बाय नोइंग व्हिच यू नीड नॉट नो एनीथिंग एल्स फॉर सर्वाइवल आर फॉर सैटिस्फैक्शन देन कमिंग टू 6th चैप्टर एम सन्यासम इति प्राहुः योगं तं विद्य पांडव नहि अशन्यस्त संकल्पः योगी भवति कश्चना 5th चैप्टर संन्यास कर्म कर्मण प्रश्न पुनर्योग संन्यास कर्मयोग से निश्रेय सकरा उभ तयोस्त कर्म संन्यास कर्मयोगो विशिष्य फोर्थ चैप्टर एवं परंपरा प्राप्त इमं राजेयो विदु सकालेने महता योगो नष्ट परंत थर्ड चैप्टर व्यामसे नैवाक्यन बुद्धि मोहे शिव मे तदेक वदन श्रेयो अहमाप्या कर्मयोग से श्लोक हि से यू आर् वाट एवर यू आर् टाकिंग टू मी सो फार आर् दे आर् लुकिंग एज कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ड्स यू आर् टाकिंग अबउट अबउट इंटेलीजेंस नॉलेज आन वन सैड यू आर् टाकिंग अबउट कर्म आन वन सैड ऐम गेटिंग कंफ्यूज that means when the, the greatest bhagwan is telling or in normal words if you say krishna is um, telling him giving him some uh, very useful informations for this thing arjuna who has who is has total belief in krishna he himself says your words are confusing so so our discussion about bhagavad gita is uh, to remove all the confusions and go straight into the meaning and what is the essence ultimately has given so now coming to the second chapter second chapter second shloka okay kutastva kasmalam idam vishame samupasthitam anarya dushtam aswargim atiitti karmajuna first chapter 
दृष्टवा तो पांडवानेक योड़ दुर्योधन स्तदा आचार्य उपसंगम्य राजा वचन अब्रवीत सो सो यू गिव मी दि नंबर टू जस्ट एटीन चाप्टर नंबर आर कंप्लीटेड सो जस्ट दिस इज टू क्रिएट ए इंटरेस्ट इन टू दिस नौ Last time, I think uh, the people in the same last session are uh, also present. Sorry, now in this meeting. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Ah, uh, uh, then uh, if any one of them uh, asks about any question about what they heard last time, so I I can uh, proceed better than instead of myself giving some things. Yeah. yeah. Anyone? Any doubt? Any anything you want to know? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir i want to ask so the question about before your name you write uh, gita acharya gita vadhani what is the meaning of gita acharya gita vadhani can you say sir avadana avadana means actually who has got a depth knowledge of that subject and uh, to okay. indicate that avadani ashta avadanam sut avadanam people do it no avar garik party महासहस्रवधानी मीन हूजर नॉलेज अंड पीसफुल इन हिमसेल्फ स्लोली स्टडी गिवस् दि आंसर आलो बिकॉज यू नोस वेरी क्लियरली गीताचार्य आचार्य मीन ए पर्सन हू प्राक्टिस गीता मीन भगवदगीता so the who practice who is practicing the uh, putting the knowledge of bhagavad gita in day to day life in behavior is acharya that means uh, behaving with that knowledge gita acharya uh, for example uh, professor in uh, in uh, uh, english in in uh, telugu it's called uh, acharya upadhyaya आचार्य उपाध्याय मीन को लर्नर करेक्टली स्पीकिंग उपाध्याय मीन को लर्नर आचार्य मीन हू नाट ओनली अंडरस्टैंड दि नॉलेज सपोज सैंस प्रोफेसर सैंस आचार्य आलो यू कैन से ओके दट मीन नाट ओनली अंडरस्टैंड बट ई हेज गाट वर्किंग नॉलेज आफ दट सब्जेक्ट आलो not just talking about it correct so who who lives with that knowledge acharya means avadani means who has got a deeper clear knowledge about that and coolly quietly if, if suppose eight people are asking eight different things if somebody disturbs also you should not get disturbed and he should be able to answer at the same time be established in his knowledge Okay, okay. Uh, about Sir, the Gita. Ah, uh, hmm. uh, I uh, listened the mantra. Uh, just uh, I want to share with you. Uh, Om Krishna ya Vasudeva ya Hare Bharatmane Pranatha Krishna saya Govinda ya Namo Namo. This mantra is used when you are in bad position. Uh, you are chanting that uh, mantra repeatedly. Then you can uh, just. Uh, Uh, but uh, you can free from uh, that uh, bad position. So I want to know. I think it is in Padma Puran or what? I don't know. But uh, I chant this mantra. Can See, you explain about that? Okay, okay. But everything I will come back. I will come back to the same subject. That is, see, eight, eighteen, eighteen Puranas are there. Hmm? Bharata is there. One lakh slokas. Ramayana is there, twenty-four thousand slokas, Brahma Sutras and all that are there, but I do not know anything other than Bhagavad Gita. Okay, so but I will definitely answer your uh, this thing. That is, see any Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. This is also there. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Narayanaaya. okay so, so many things are there any one of them you 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 chant repeat you will have the same benefit as whatever you are telling correct different there are different gurus different 
how many Vishnu Sahasranama, how many names are there? One, one thousand names, correct? Any one name you, if you repeat, you will have the same benefit. And particularly, particularly, oh, I will tell you. Om Namo Narayanaya. That is Narayana. Narayana means a Narayana means who does not get destroyed. Who does not get destroyed. That means who is eternal. Who is that means who is non-changing. That is who is the truth. So to for me to become eternal, I am doing Namaha. See, please understand. Namo Narayanaya. I am I am doing Namaha. What for to be to experiencing eternity, Narayana. I myself am Narayana. I am a person, I, I, I am non-destructible. I am non-changing. I am eternal. To experience that, what is coming in the way? What is coming in the way? Throwing it out. Throwing it out, that is Namaha. Namaha. Understand? Narayana. Yeah. Sivaya. Sivaya means, Siva means happiness. Nothing but happiness. Otherwise, you can say total peace. Like in deep sleep, you do not experience any limitation, any changes, any pressures, any of these things. Correct? So, even uh, unexplainable happiness. That is called Tanmayatva or bliss. Correct? So, to that is Siva. So, everybody wants happiness. And when you, when you are in bliss, you do not even know that you are in bliss. But when, when it comes down one level, when you know that I am happy, already you came down from bliss to happiness. When, when you are bliss, you do not even know that you are in bliss. You do not have any thought also. When the moment you say, I am happy, your happiness level has come, come down from bliss to explainable thing. Okay. So that yes, means yes. that is the highest what we want that is Shiva, that highest happiness. It does not have any, any shape or any this thing, correct? Happiness, when you are happy, what is the shape you are carrying inside? Nothing. That is Shiva, that is happiness you are seeking is the bliss does not have any shape, any size, anything. Shapeless, shapeless. To indicate that uh, Shiva Linga is put Seva, that is for a happiness. Because always, you, uh, something after seeing only, we stop there and observe. If nothing is there, you do not, uh, uh, your mind goes on uh, hovering here and there. Okay. So, something which you have to bet. They have put Linga. Linga is, meaning is the symbol. The symbol. That is uh, Gurtu. In, you can translate a better word. It is a suppose way to way to assembly, way to assembly. That does not it is a symbol indicating the uh, where that location is there. So linga is a symbol to indicate the eternal beast, which that is Shiva. Shiva Linga. So everything has got so Shiva, Om Namah Shivaya. That means Namaha. Namaha means, Manaha is the mind. Manaha is the mind. Namaha is keeping away the mind. That is, in your dhyanam, meditation, what you are doing is trying to be in the process of keeping the mind aside. Keeping the mind aside, particularly from... So, to make the thoughts zero is not possible in the beginning of any, any practitioner, any sadhak. In the beginning. But if thoughts are coming, likes and dislikes. Likes, uh, then when you are thinking about something, what you like, the liking will increase and you will become a slave of that. Something, a thought which you do not like any item, if that comes in your uh, uh, mind, uh, you will get irritated because you do not like it. So, it, uh, irritation or becoming a slave of this thing, ultimately you are not with yourself. Likes and dislikes. Even if you are sitting idle, these thoughts will flow. That means you never keep quiet. 
either you are increasing likes or dislikes so you will get tired also in the process when you are traveling from one station to the other station it will be fully peaceful but you are sitting idle by the time you get down you will be fully tired because your mind is doing like this only so when you go beyond likes and dislikes there is no strain there is no tiresomeness only um, you will go more and more nearer to the happiness peace okay so why our patriji and other things are particularly were telling about the observing the breath is first thing you cannot make the mind without thought in the in the beginning something you require so observe the breath means on the breath you do not have a liking or disliking you, are, you do not have a liking or a disliking at the same time it is not a static it is not a static so breath is a dynamic it is happening so so it is happening it is dynamic and you, you do not have either liking or disliking so when you start observing the breath and this thing in between if you forget to observe the breath also doesn't matter then then it is a thoughtless state that is wonderful more better than even observing the breath ultimate results is that so you are all practicing that that is namaha so then when thoughts are coming down or in the gap of the between the thoughts what you are experiencing is hmm, total a indescribable thing when there is no thought what is that you are you do not know that you are not, you are happy also that means you are beyond happiness that is bliss like in deep sleep you do not know that you are happy also so the, all the things to these mantras are namaha that means meaning is see right from the life in the beginning till today right from the time we are born till today we gathered so much of information and likes and dislikes and we are caught up with that and day by day these likes and dislikes these matters are increasing and it is becoming a more and more heavy weight on our head like a big basket you carry and put go on um, putting in it into the basket what are you like what are you dislike on one side what you like on one side it is becoming heavy and heavy you are not able to carry it so once you reverse the basket all the things dropping all the things that are put in the um, the basket that you are free that is namaha manaha is gathered information likes and dislikes namaha is keep throwing away all likes and dislikes and all the matters re related to likes and dislikes and in fact i was telling about the informations that are gathered right from the birth till today but in a, in in our subconscious mind these likes and dislikes and impressions related to that which are which were acquired even our so many previous lives are also stored inside and they will be entering into our conscious mind from con subconscious mind which is called chitta subconscious mind is called chitta conscious mind is called mind and the decisive faculty whether to hold on to that or leave it the deciding factor is the intellect behind that is the false center false and limited center that we acquired through this body false and limited center i am mohan rao i am a male is a false limited identity looking at i am a male is a identity that i got it through after observing my body but real true self i am there is no male or female my shirt is white that does not mean i am white my skin is black that does not mean i am black similarly my body is a male body is a female i am not a male or female because we do not remember that i am a male or female always so this true self is a non changing non changing self which is the which is the supporting all the changing that is changing body changing in uh, senses changing uh, mind changing intellect although all these things are changing i am is the basis for all these things for changing things non changing i am is the base so that is the true self non changing i am is the true self does not have anything and that is this 
simple knowledge that vidya knowing the difference between i and mine see when i say my, 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 my mind is not proper i am agitated i am not disturbed so we will talk later we know we will talk like this now uh, my mind is not na manas baaledu my teeth na human my mind is not a is not in a peaceful condition incident incidentally we will say buddhi leka pan chesani ippudu buddhi ichindi so intellect tele dimag akal naitha mere abhi akal aa gaya so tele i did not have in proper intellect now i came to know what i took decision is the wrong thing buddhi leka pan chesanu ippudu buddhi ichindi so i did i took that decision because i was not aware i was foolish i took foolish decision now i am realized i am i have become wise so the intellect also changing my intellect also changing my mind also changing my body is also changing and all these things i am not changing i am the same as i was when i was even less than one year also so but which is more important means the, and i am a male i am a female also we remember only out of 24 hours for a very limited time whenever it is required always always i am i am i am feeling is always there continuously that is not acquired i am is not acquired from outside i am a teacher i am a doctor i am a male i am a baby. all these things are acquired by us from outside so what is there and what will be there is the real truth i will i will tell in telugu ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో అదే ఉంటుంది ఏదైతే వచ్చిందో అది పోతుంది వాట్ ఈజ్ ఆల్రెడీ దేర్ విల్ బి దేర్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ వాట్ ఈజ్ ఎక్వైర్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ విల్ యాజ్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ ఇట్ గోస్ ఆల్సో సో దట్ ఈస్ జా దట్ ఈస్ జా మీన్స్ ఇట్స్ బార్న్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్స్ గాన్ జా దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ అండ్ గోస్ లైక్ ఈచ్ థాట్ ఈచ్ థాట్ ఈజ్ ఎ జగత్ ఇట్ ఈస్ థాట్ ఈస్ బార్న్ థాట్ he moves for some time and leaves each thought is born and each thought is gone so ja that means is thought and whatever is there in the uh, mind in the thoughts only we are experiencing but what and all the thoughts depend on me that is i am my my thought my mind my this. but i am not changing as the information in the thoughts are changing i am the for for the, this jagat jagat i am the supporter non changing supporter so so this is uh, this is the education knowing the difference between i and mine and uh, bhagavad gita tells this is the wisdom in 13th chapter 13th chapter second shloka second shloka and third shloka he says this body is called the kshetra this body including the changing mind including the changing intellect this body is called the kshetra and whoever is the knower of the kshetra is kshetragna so mind is the kshetra i am who knows my things and is the kshetragna so i and mine knowing the difference between i and mine is the real wisdom as defined by bhagavad gita in chapter number 13 second shloka and uh, any other thing namaha that means the essence of anything is namaha Nam- when if you want to be eternal om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya if you want to be peaceful and all that so these are not different if you feel you are eternal you will be happy also if you are feeling peaceful and all that the question of uh, variation death and other things are not there the, he, he, anything which is unbounded is eternal which is eternal truth is unbounded anything which is limited is will perish unlimited things will not perish that means the true self is unbounded true self self is non changing so whatever name you put it to that 
and it does not have any description by itself okay any anything yeah. more yeah another any other uh, questions friends sir uh, in adhyaya 13th uh, shloka 11 12 and uh, 13 sir in can you explain that sir okay yeah, you, you 11 12 13 see one thing in uh, one book uh, 11th shloka mai cha ananya yogena bhaktir abhyabicharini the same shloka or the other book changes in gorakhpur book uh, 11 means uh, Adhyatma gnana nichyattam, tattva gnana ardha darsanam, etat gnana miti proktam, agnanam etato anyadha. So, starting is same thing you are asking. Adhyatma gnana nichyattam or maicha ananya yogena bhaktir. Because from book to book it varies. Otherwise, otherwise, see, these things refer to the qualities of a person of wisdom, Gnanam or wisdom, whatever say, see, right from eighth sloka in one book or seventh sloka in the other book starts and four and a half slokas, they describe about the different qualities of a person of wisdom. A person of wisdom has got this form. Not audible, sir. Without yeah. trying to look good. Amanitum, Adam Bitum. So without having pride, without having trying to say I am a good person, saying that I am a good also is a self over with extra self-esteem. Like a Duryodhana, because of his Abhimana has become Durabhimana. Is <laughs> because of the, he wants to say, I am a very good, a very great person, nice person and all that. Thinking that I am nice also, very nice also, it is uh, giving over importance to one's own self. So, Amanit means not trying to look good. Adambitva means not having pride. Ahimsa means not hurting one's own self. Thinking that I am less is the greatest hurting. Shantir, having patience. Arjavam, being straightforward. So, Amanitum, Adambitum, Ahimsa, Shanti Rajam, Acharyo Pasanam. So, whoever is practicing higher level of wisdom to serving him and trying to imbibe that knowledge, Arya Acharyo Pasanam. That means serving a master who is practicing the knowledge. Saucham, that is inside and outside being clean, cleanliness. Saucham, Acharyo Pasanam, Saucham, Stairyam. That means being Courageous, stadium, atma vinigraha. That means having self control. So, only one sloka only I told these are the qualities of a person who has got wisdom. That means indriya desh vairagyam, anahankara evacha, without having ego and dispassion towards the various sense objects. Like that, whatever you smell, you see, don't not getting attracted to that. Whatever scene you see, not get, getting attracted to that. So, keeping yourself free from these attractions of the five senses. So, that is Indriya Desh Vairagyam Anahankara Yavacha without ego Janma Mruchu Jaravyadi Dukkha Doshanu Darsanam. That means knowing the, once you take the body, in the birth itself there are so many problems and the in between disease, there is suffering because of disease, there is suffering because of the old age, there is suffering because of the death. So all these things are death. Once the body comes, all the sufferings are only associated. Knowing about the all the sufferings related to the body, that is also wisdom issues. Asakti Ranabhishvangaha Putradhara Gruhadishu. Not getting attached to the house, to the wife, or uh, husband or to the children. Nichyam cha samachit tattvam ishta nishto pa pachishu. It's like 
being equanimous intellect having equanimous intellect about likes and dislikes so like this so many things ultimately he says maicha ananya yogena bhaktir avyabicharini that means see people go to temple and they will they will find lot of de deities there and uh, all the deities they try to uh, put namaskara and all these things he says uh, that type of uh, devotion is called uh, vevichara bhakti that is uh, debauching way he uses in three times in uh, bhagavad gita sit even people with lesser intelligent only go to the idol worship because a, a, a psychologically weak mind psychologically weak mind requires some support and one thing is there all of us also at some time or the other definitely there is a psychological weak point comes to that extent you may require you will require some support and no person outside can give guaranteed support some people as if they are supporting they may ditch also that is also there that's why a person who does not ditch who gives psychological support is the the deity that is devatal antar kada the gods gods because they they will not change in this thing so for your psychological weakness you require a psychological support to that extent to that extent you can depend on the vigraha aradhana that is the worshiping of the, this thing but knowing that it is the the psychological weakness that i am having nothing wrong about it because mind is so complicated and uh, is filled with so many impressions gathered over long long period so some of the impressions uh, are the dis dis disempowering uh, impressions so that but knowing that once you know that i am eternal all my things are temporary all the data in my chitta is also tem temporary that is also acquired i have got nothing to do that i i need not bother about it whatever my, my mind say mind says it is not the really truth whatever chitta says it is not i am only the truth so once you know i am i am the bhagavan i am the param brahma so all these weaknesses will slowly drop down until you acquire certain minimum level of awareness that i am eternal i am akshara until that some psychological weakness you may depend nothing wrong because you see in group meditations we are doing together we are doing why this support to each other sat sang sat sang yeah why really speaking our rishis and other people they were not with other people they were sitting alone in their own place and going into deep silence and they are trying to um, get solutions for the suffering of all other people not reading any book not going not using uh, this thing from inside everything comes because i am the real truth and when you leave the external things you you will be in touch with that absolute truth and boundless truth and all these solutions even if the mind is having little uh, this thing the solutions come from inside so we, because we should agree certain level of psychological weakness everybody will be having only thing some people will be very weak in psychologically some people strong in psych uh, this thing so we we may have the support of satsang and uh, deities other people who do not uh, know about uh, this meditation they obviously until that once you, they know what is meditation and uh, by sitting how much peace you are getting how much relaxation you are getting minimum level so once once a person experiences that he need not be necessarily going to the old deities and other thing anymore any so so but here one advice what we can give to anybody even if you go to a, a temple don't pray all the gods keep one going to so many gods and other things uh, he says that is prashush in other words vibhichara bhakti devotion 
a varying devotion is called the entire Bhagavad Gita says Ananya, Ananya, Ananya means leaving all other things. That means uh, Anya, Anya means other. Ananya means not other. Not other means yourself only. So, Ananya, Chintayanto, Maam, Ejana, Pariyupasate, Ananya, uh, Ananya, Cheta, Satatam, Yo, Maam, Smarati, Nichasaha, Tasyaham, Sulabhakpada, Nichya, Yuktasya, Yoginah, Yetu, Sarvani, Karmani, Maisanya, Simatparaha, Ananya, Naiva, Yogena, Ananya, Naiva, so many times, Ananya and Abhyabhichara, that is, they are equivalent words. In Bhagavad Gita, so many places it is used. That means your devotion should not be defocused. Your devotion, one Chaturvida, Bhajante, Maham, Jana, Sukritino, Arjuna, Arto, Jignasur, Adha, Jignani, Chabartar Sabha. So, so many people will um, have devotion in so many ways. Because a per person who is suffering because of something, he wants to come out of suffering, for that he tries to pay, pray. A person wants some, some benefit. That means uh, he is going to start some industry and he wants uh, the industry to run in good uh, condition and uh, have profits. So with that, uh, he is not fully um, uh, having confidence within himself and his, with, on his efforts. So he depends on <laughs> the unseen God and praise that is for, for some benefit. So, for, to avoid suffering, for some benefit and other people are there, they want to really know what is the power behind all the things. How these all the things are working, what is the real thing in the, the universe is working uh, and uh, why everything is like, like that is jignas. That means he is having keen interest to know what is behind all these things. Such people also try to always think of uh, trying to find uh, truth. But the, apart from these people, there will be some person who is uh, having fully established in wisdom. wisdom. So the person with wisdom knows that I am the eternal, I am Bhagavan. And that's why in 7th uh, chapter, 18th sloka, the Bhagavan says, so many people may pray, pray different gods and uh, me also different ways. But the person with wisdom and myself are one and the same. Grani tu atma eva me matam. So whoever knows that I am non-changing, eternal, and, and the Bhagavan, Bhagavan is non-changing, eternal. You know I am not changing, eternal. Both are one and the same. Both are boundless. And Bhagavan says, I do not have any responsibility in the, all the three words. Name Pardasti Kartagyam Trishuloke Shukinchana. So the current in our house does not have any responsibility to glow or to rotate or anything. But we are utilizing the current and using it as a light, using, using it as a fan, using it as a cooler, using it as a heater and all that. The, the, the purpose is there in the instruments. They have got certain roles to do, but the current does not have any specific role. It only supports and gives energy to everything. By itself, it does not have any responsibility. So like that, he says, I am, I am, does not have to do anything. My mind only is seeking everything. We, we see something through our uh, five senses, uh, get attracted, I want that. So, the mind only is seeking everything. And not knowing the self, I need something for survival. I, I need something for satisfaction. Because right now, I am feeling I am limited. Because my property is limited. I am limited because my education is limited. I am limited because my friends are limited. So, but not knowing this true self who I am, once you know who I am in the real sense, then you will realize I am unbounded, I am eternal. So the ignorant mind only is having all these words. A, a, a mind, a, a, a intellect with wisdom knows that I, that I don't require anything to, for satisfaction and for survival. So, and you people 
already in the process of retaining this knowledge that is when you leave the mind you will experience the absolute bliss uh, which is your true nature you are not going anywhere you are experiencing yourself so why bhagavad gita and all that why so many explanations and all that is whenever you are do, doing uh, practicing meditation so your mind have developed certain doubts i mean there is a doubt whether to carry on or not to carry on how much importance to give you may have doubt with the doubt you cannot practice anything properly to eliminate the doubt bhagavad gita knowledge is useful and what is that bhagavad gita knowledge you are i am eternal i am unbounded this is the only information and i am i am parmatma i am param brahma i am bhagwan i am the absolute truth that is the mind are changing but which is more important i or mind everything of mind is required for me everything of mind my hand so is for me my intellect is for me my mind is for me i am not for that so that that once you know that i am eternal none, none of your things are required so to reach that ultimate level of uh, total non doing total uh, totally uh, to be, to be in bliss everlasting bliss so you are we are all on the path ultimately the point of no return once you sit in meditation in need not come back that is ultimate so we go step by step yo anta sukho antara arama tada antar jyotire vaya so when when you are meditation you are experiencing rest and your wisdom levels are also increasing from inside and whoever thinks you will you, you will be able to you are able to understand what all i am speaking there is no use of anything with your intelligence you will analyze you are finding all these things are truth how you are able to find the, the wisdom is your true nature so with this uh, will uh, any anyone yes Yes, others, uh, friends. If you have any any question from any any sloka you wanted from any anything any, any doubt, doubt. Yeah. sir, can we say one God, uh, sir? That means sir, God is God one. Is... All, almost all all the religions are say all all the religions all the religions are saying that God is one. But can we say that one God, sir? Sir, one thing. God is not one. Gods are many. Sir, Almighty God, is one. Uh, listen, listen. Gods God. are many. Almighty is one. Devatul aneko. Devatul are many. Devatas are many. But Bhagwan is one. Paramatma uh, that, is that. one. Huh? Uh, Bhagwan or Paramatma or Parabrahma. Yeah. The three different names were only one thing. Yeah, so that uh, that you can one say Allah Pramatma also. Can, huh? can huh? we get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one Pramatma, one Allah. Can we see that one Pramatma, one Allah, sir? This I am is that Allah. I am is that Pramatma. I am. See, one I am the soul, no, sir. I am the soul. The soul body means is what? Soul is par- soul means Pramatma. Soul is English word. Soul is English word. Pramatma is Sanskrit word. Sir, uh, that is uh, Paramatma and soul. Paramatma is separate, sir. Soul is separate, sir. Paramatma and soul is not same, sir. And uh, that, that means... by, uh, soul is came from the Paramatma, sir. Soul is came from the Paramatma. Once the soul is, uh, once the body dead, that uh, soul is going to be mixing together with Paramatma is said to be moksha, sir. <laughs> If it is not uh, uh, mixing together with the Paramatma, then... Uh, that is going to take rebirth uh, and re death like that sir what so, what takes a rebirth is the impressions in our mind impressions yes, in your mind understand 
yes sir if your impressions likes and dislikes in your mind uh, they require a body so yes, once you, once the your mind knows i am eternal i am eternal these likes and dislikes will drop out yes why, why likes and dislikes what helps me to be eternal i like what comes in the way of my being eternal i dislike so once you once i know i am eternal i don't require anybody anything support so i need not have any liking for anything i need not have any disliking for anything because i am not dependent on that you now you tell me now you tell me did you i am in you did it change any time in this, in this life your your height has changed your mind has changed your your weight has changed your hair has changed your language has changed your relations have changed your dress has changed everything of your has been changing and even now so many cells in your body are dying so many cells if you have taken yesterday food so many cells are being born so much change is happening but did yes, you sir. say did you say that i was different i was different than i am now my thing has changed yes, what about me did you change no, no. so soul doesn't change sir right sir soul doesn't change. don't call soul see, see yes, don't call yes, soul because see when you go to your house when you go to house and knock your door knock your door inside people will ask who who because they don't know who is knocking the door you will not say soul did you ever say use the word soul i am i am i am is paramatma non changing i am is paramatma absolute soul supreme soul i want to use your words the non changing i am is the supreme soul ha yes, sir the mind and other things which are changing is limited souls Mm-hmm. jivatma jivatma yes sir yes. and our purpose is to kill the jivatma then the question does not arise i am is always eternal i am is the supreme soul independent of anything all the troubles are coming from the limited soul that is body conscious mind which is to say na understand the soul the impressions likes and dislikes has to be eliminated then you are absolutely free when you are absolutely free there is a need, need to take one more body one more death one more yes, life sir. understand <laughs> yes sir ha uh, always uh, someone says that uh, god is nirakar there is no akara uh, he is me. everywhere he is everywhere he is in when you are sitting with me don't bring the word someone said like this someone said like this what your experience what your intelligence says i will i will straight away ask you somebody says god is nirakara not god paramatma okay. paramatma is right sir paramatma ah, sir okay. paramatma is nirakara huh? uh, he doesn't have any form he doesn't have any colors uh, uh, he, uh, he is a uh, 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 paramatma second. paramatma sir paramatma one, sir. one now i am asking you sir yes. sir yes sir yes sir your body's height has changed weight has changed yes, everything has changed but you have not changed correct I'm yes sir i am the same as i was correct the non changing i am can you can you describe any shape for that no sir we can't describe sir ah that is nirakara i am nirakara yes sir so don't say he is nirakara i am nirakara i do not have yeah. correct yes sir all all the likes and dislikes are in my mind correct yes sir you are that you are that the non changing i am is parmatma param brahma bhagavan truth the non changing i am the changing i am is the limited to this body with so many likes and dislikes and suffering once you eliminate likes and dislikes in the limited soul disappears and only the non changing i am eternal this is will be there correct yes, don't say he paramatma somewhere i am is that our we are experiencing him at zero distance 
we are experiencing if i am is not that who else is there yes sir even even if 800 crore people crore people will say you you are a fool you are useless you are unfit i am does not change correct yes sir see all my things have got a shape my eye he, here and with certain dimension my here here that some certain dimension okay but i am where is that i am and what is the size of that can you tell me we can't uh, measure the size of i am sir see see your hair is very nice and black and other things in the night ha uh, uh, when you are sleeping uh, we will remove all your hair all your hair in the morning unless you see in the mirror unless you see in the mirror you do not know whether you are having hair or not correct yes yeah, sir but see that means you need to know uh, your eyes should be there there should be mirror for you to know whether there is uh, uh, something i put some uh, on your forehead uh, i write your name also in the night <laughs> Yes, that also you do not know for that you need not only eyes and a mirror but to know that i am you don't require eyes you don't require a mirror correct yes yeah, sir ah uh, the thing what do you know without the need of eyes without the need of ears which is always known i am i am that is non changing the real truth that is parmatma what you got uh, through your eyes through your ears Uh, that is jivatma that is limited soul ignorant soul the ignorance is uh-huh. dropped the, my skin is black but i am not black yes sir my property is less i am less if my property is less if i think i am less it is the ignorant mind which created do you want to keep that ignorance yes sir i remove once that you remove that ignorance there is no limited soul only the supreme soul unbounded soul correct you are okay. that can you say a, a, a current in a fan and current in the bulb small bulb big bulb are they different there are two currents yes. or only one current only one current sir but uh, the bulbs are uh, different sir ha ah, your mind our minds are different our bodies are different i am i am non changing is not different is one and the same in all of us so all atmas are atma we say no sir uh, soul so all souls are different or so one soul sir see now because you are using this word i am is the supreme soul paramatma is should be called as supreme soul Yes, same sir. in all the people i am yes, i am is same in all the people that yes sir supreme soul that is parmatma yes atma, sir who well, atma that is nothing but mind with so many impressions are different atma are so many jivatmas are there only one parmatma limited soul yes, limited souls attached to the body with so many likes and differences are many many but the non changing i am the supreme soul is only one <coughs> yes correct sir. yes sir at zero distance don't talk yes, about any any other external paramatma if if i am i am the non changing consciousness he is not paramatma no other paramatma in this world no other truth is there in this world but yes, when i am is the truth we are so nearer and our true self being that we forgot that this is the pity we got uh, addicted to the fact that i am this body this is mine uh, maybe the body this is mine the shirt is mine i cannot yes, be i cannot be my shirt i cannot be my hand without yes, my sir. hand i am there correct yes, i am the supreme soul non changing supreme soul present in all the beings equally without any qualities whatsoever understand i yes, am sir. the supreme soul my mind is the limited soul attached to the body yes sir ha ah, zero distance 
zero distance. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other thing? Anyone having any other doubt, they can ask me any time because this is a, such a subtle knowledge. Then nicely he was, uh, he brought in that uh, this thing so that uh, we are able to uh, throw a little more light on this subject. I am is the supreme soul, but we are never with that I am. We are with our body. Our the limited soul only is functioning. Namaste, sir. Namaste, sir. Sorry namaste. to disturb you. Na namaste, namaste. Soul is the Atma. Paramatma is Bhagavan. Bhagavan is Sarvagnudu. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. So Atma is Atma comes from Paramatma. Atma is the creation of Paramatma. Is it right, sir? Just a small doubt. It is a relation between the bubble and the water. In a sea, we see so many waves, so many bubbles. And sea as a ocean as a one. Yes, so, sir. the ocean, unbounded ocean with a, without any variations is Paramatma. And the tide or the bubble which is comes and goes on the top of it is Jivatma. Yes, sir. Samudra, the without, ocean is Paramatma. There won't be waves or bubbles. Ah, the, there must be the sea. Then only there will be bubbles or waves. Ah, yes. Without without Paramatma, there is nothing. First yes, part we see, I am is but, the Paramatma. Then comes, bubble is the sea and wave is the sea. Yes, yes. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am does not have any boundaries, any changes. That is like water everywhere. Okay. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Namaste, sir. Ah. Sir, my subconscious mind law, when uh, unwanted things and when the bayal and near put on day, a atlantic print day party, my uncle, Kaval and Uncom, cut in T shirt and atlas, how to air as air party rather than air party only already they are there. They are ah, there. But... We have been. Uh, uh, slaves, slaves of those impressions to some extent or the other. For example, one uh, fighter that is a boxer, world famous boxer, I heard, he, he used to be afraid of cockroach, it seems. <laughs> so much afraid of cockroach. So some people, some people suppose, if, if we take them into a boat, into the water, they'll be so much afraid. For example, I, I will tell for a little in the previous life, of course, he drowned in water. Water. <laughs> namaste, namaste. Sadhananda Girigar. Sadhananda Giri Swami Vachar. Pude. Rend, rend, rend. Namaste, Sir. Namaste. Water lo muni ki chani poye na tariki. Next life lo. Namaste. Water ke vibrit mein na bhai untun dega da. So aaj subconscious lo fixe untun dam. Allah mat. The number adhun jees koni. Adhun jees koni. Water to careful ka undale kani. Ante kani bhayal bet kunte prayojan hole de. Adi mano awareness to match ko hai. Ipre. Just the Pude Ochar Swami Varu morning train Godavar Express Digi Antaraga the noted Miss Sotral Swami and Sadan and the Giri Swami. Answer Bangalore Valindi. You put a session complete in just complete in it. Close just to Naru. Correct me over out of under key. Very happy. Namaste, Guruji. Namaste. Friends, sir. Friends, sir. Our Guruji name is Sri Santosa, Himalayan Yogi. Sadhananda Giri Swami. Santos Sadhananda Giri Maharaj. Okay. So I think uh, uh, Namaste Swamiji. Aishman. Namaste. Namaste Swamiji.
ಚಿರಂಜೀವ ಆಯುಷ್ಮಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಯು ವಿ ಮೇ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೌಟ್ ಎನ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಸೊ ಮಚ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ and so that uh, this benefit can be really utilized by all of us okay thank you so much sir yes sir sir i have a question sir ha ah, question ah, ah, ah. sir sometimes uh, we feel just uh, confused in our mind uh, what will do what do do uh, sometimes stress in the time what can we do sir for relax for attention people for relax our mind sir what can you do sir relaxation now one one is the best thing what you are practicing is the meditation nothing meditation. Else than that number one so yes sir a person who who is not able to pull um, is, is a subtle and delicate uh, meditation suppose for example we our people do some puja in the house some um, some deity and some parayana or some shloka om namah shivaya om namah shivaya for example like that we do because see when you are busy in, in a puja room and with some some way of puja some mantra some this thing you are all other uh, likes and dislikes all other likes and dislikes are temporarily disappeared from your mind is it not so that means that itself gives rest then your mind keeps all your likes and dislikes away you you will experience yourself that is bliss and because you are not able to keep your mind at zero jhana we are practicing and even if jhana somebody is able to not able to follow some puja a little lower stage for example iskan hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari so that is to anchor their mind not to see that it does not go here and there outside and gather likes and dislikes and become heavy day by day not gathering likes and dislikes is becoming lighter <laughs> leaving all the likes and dislikes is becoming absolutely free so yes sir yes so mind as i was telling you know psychologically everybody will have some weakness at the other psychological weakness to the extent we need external support so why you are in the zoom zoom meeting you could have been in the house because zoom meeting uh, he is guiding you and we are all in satsang correct yes sir yes sir it has become yes, satsang sir. we are all talking about sat <laughs> what is this <laughs> real truth so we are getting anchored directly or indirectly we are nearer to that so all other trivial things are getting disappeared temporarily at least at least temporarily after having clear understanding if you take a strong declaration that i will not allow these pretty pretty things to come into my mind and disturb me if you take a strong uh, declaration and make your um, with wisdom i will tell you with wisdom whatever you take a strong declaration and keep it to your intellect that is nothing but vinayaka a, a, a intellect with with a firm declaration declaration which does not which does not become a slave of the mind in fact intellect has to control the mind but in many cases uh, the intellect says okay okay the mind is so strong getting attracted to the things you will say ah, this is only one time i will do this is very nice this is so many things the intellect you know weak he says okay you do like this for this time like that it will go on allowing the mind to act as it were that means mind many times dominates that means our external likes and dislikes are dominating our intellect that means yes. the intellect is becoming a hen pecked husband understand 
if your intellect is having a proper wisdom and take a strong stand in any case i will do this i will not do that a strong <coughs> intellect with strong declaration within it itself is nothing but vinayaka visheshavaina nayaka that means great leader nayaka means leader vinayaka means great leader okay vinayaka is great leader yes great leader yes sir Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, we, we request uh, Swamiji to give small message our uh, Sadhana Giri Swamiji uh -huh. for, for our uh, yes, yes, meditators. Yes, yes sir. Uh -huh. Regarding meditation, you can uh, give small message, Swamiji. Regarding meditation, 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 dhyana. Small, Kuddhika, Mithu. My message, Chapman, Jepanaru. So, just now, Swami has told everything. It is diverting our mind from one thing to another thing. While sitting in meditation certain time, certain place itself will change your mind and make concentration. Is it not? So as uh, like a determination, I am sitting for uh, this dhyana, or something, something, or something that makes you peaceful of mind. And in puja, you are going on chanting something, something. In deep meditation, there is no chanting also. Absolutely silent mind. Thoughtless mind. As per uh, Swamiji's telling, it is somewhat a light difficult. Total thinkless mind is not an easy thing, but not impossible. Slowly, 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 slowly. Like how we change, uh, tame the child from one thing to another thing. Like that slowly, 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 if you go once, in a deep meditation stage, you will become master. First of all, which things are important, which things are not important. We can justify it, but whereas we are mobilizing, even though for the smallest things, we are getting confusion, we are getting tension and all those things. First of all, we should have to think whether it is necessary or not. Why I am thinking about all these things? Small little things. Now this uh, busy life, everything is disturbing us. Whereas the disturbances are not pure and not good. We know very well. <laughs> After thinking a little bit about that, it seems not necessary. We came to the conclusion that it is not necessary. Unnecessarily, I am spending time on it. Whereas we are thinking, our way of thinking itself will control our mind. Right thinking, right decision. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Most welcome. And thanks even participating me in this subject. Yes, sir. No, no, we, are, sir. we are blessed. Uh, yeah. We are blessed to see you, sir. Namaste, sir. Puchunar gan chala high tech was. One hundred six hai na ipuru sixteen years laga na to forty but parigetu ta onta. He is also like this here. <laughs> He faced operations and all those things, whereas I am not. See, who is great? <laughs> Everybody is great in their own way. Ah, yeah. yeah, that is yeah. the point. Correct, correct, correct. <laughs> I am not less. I am not dull. I so am we, should not, we should not have garva that uh, we are great or anything like that. 
but at the same time uh, when we pray to god when we are a true bhakta or bhakte we should not underestimate ourselves also that's the main thing not thinking great i am great that is also a ego yeah but at the same I'm not time just to others ah uh, is not even that um, I, i have to have self esteem to pull on even yeah. to meditate even to think about god so yes, i must have faith and trust in myself belief in god do put your best foot forward always in anything that we do sorry if i am extension extension in this uh, conversation yes please like you want to yes please Yes, yes. We are looking our like Vinayaka. There is no exactly. Vinayaka to him. Yes. What he is indicating to us, he is having the big ears. Listen, yes. you cannot find a moat. So talk less, <laughs> and he is having a small eyes. Yes. What that indicates? Observe in a very thing in concentrationly. Yes. So how much we can learn from him? And he is having a big belly. He says something. He says something. You have to keep everything in your stomach. Don't tell to other things from other things to other things. And he is a big, huge man. And his vehicle is a small rat, a black. Very young. Yes, yes. He is pure white. Karpura gauranga deha. Yes. And the rat, what it is indicates? You see, in a dark room, if you if you lit up a light, pramida light, the darkness will go. Is it? But actually the black like, will go the black will be at the beneath of this pramida so that is the indication he is the light gnana and the agnana is small light a uh, small darkness underneath him that is the indication we should have to understand by seeing god vinayaka just now only master has told you about vinayaka I am yes. giving some <laughs> other explanation. Yes. The way of our thinking, the way of our view. Yes. Observing everything detailedly, comparing to ourselves, how we should have to be. Now, sir, your time is uh, up, uh, sir. Yeah, no problem, sir. Another now we. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So any final uh, anybody? Maumita, Maumita, uh, madam, you want yeah, to speak? Uh, yes, sir. I am tempted to ask questions. So many enlightened masters in front of me. So I am tempted to, sir. Now Vinayak Chauti is coming, and everybody is buying Vichan, idol Vichan and all that. Video, ma'am. Switch on your video. Yes, sir. Sir, now Vinayak Chauti is coming, and everybody is buying idol. So I am confused. I don't know. what is the right way to realize god it is uh, is it just the ritualistic way of doing puja chanting mantra doing havan or just sit for meditation trying to concentrate on that uh, um, uh, energy so what is the way uh, to attain god and how to uh, go about it i, I don't know i am really confused our sanatana dharma has told already there is god everywhere there is god everywhere everywhere in each and every cell he is there but when you are purchasing a ganesha whether it is small or big whatever it may be first of all what you will think i brought up ganesha here i put asana for him in my house he is before me and to please him you have to tell shlokas do puja and all those things thinking that he is receiving from you he is there he is present that kind of mind 
then automatically you will see the car. In anything you do, strong declaration determination. That is nothing but Vinayaka. Anything. You yourself, I, when I am talking like this, you can verify your own things. Many things you wanted to do in your life, but you did only that where you took a very strong determination. Strong, any, in any case, I will do this. When that came from you, you you proceeded even even though many obstacles came. But other cases where you have not seriously took a decision, strong declaration, even if a small obstacle comes, you stop it. Correct? So yes. then your own this thing. Your own this thing. Bus. Strong declaration. Correct? Very common yes. sense. Yes, sir. Uh, so, the Vinayaka's uh, Pratishta has to be done in your intellect, in the, in the real sense. The strong yeah. declaration has to be in your intellect. I used to smoke four packets of cigarettes a day. When I, one day on my own, when I took a reason, no more cigarettes for me. On the third day, I got in my dream. I stopped the cigarette abruptly. On the third day or fourth day, I got in my dream, a cigarette came to my hand and I was about to put it to my lips in the dream. And the moment something came, immediately I have thrown that cigarette away, even in my dream. You can understand the how strongly I took the decision. So not, you have inter not internalized that. You have internalized that thought that, that means, there's no more, see, no more cigarettes. I do not talk about great about myself personally. I am an ordinary person, with, uh, very casual, not, not following many of the disciplines or anything. But people say stopping cigarette is much more difficult than other things. But Definitely. I do it only one thing because I took such a strong declaration. Decision will with the, with the declaration comes willpower. With the declaration comes willpower. Anything for that matter. Correct? Now, should we keep the Vinayaka in our puja room or should we put him in our intellect? Choice is yours. That is a lower level, normal to enhance our belief. Our strength based on belief. This is based on enhancing our strength based on the Wisdom. Oh, excuse me. To swim against the current, first we have to learn to swim with the current. Yes, yes. That, that uh, like is... that, it is uh, installing God in the house, uh, praying physically. Uh, yeah. I told you, no. Every yeah. mind is psychologically yeah. certain exactly. level of weakness yeah. we are carrying, and no doubt about it. Yourself. Depending on your own psychological weakness, you need the support. But whenever not you exactly, take the support... Not exactly weakness, it is a sort of a satiation. Uh, uh -huh. You feel uh, your psyche is happy when you are... Uh, 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 see, uh, madam, in, depending on anything outside is a psychological weakness. Not knowing the true self as the, uh, the eternal thing. So, let us accept. <laughs> let of us course. accept the fact that... Uh, yes, yes sir. Weakness means... Dis dissatisfactions and fears and anxieties and tensions related to survival. Helplessness. Not knowing, not knowing that I am eternal. Not knowing that I am eternal. Not oh, knowing really. I am no, boundless. Normally, normally we don't carry that tag all the time. Though we know at the back of the yes. mind. To carry it for a longer land. time. But we to don't carry, carry that, that tag always. Freedom. See, what is always with us? What is uh, real me? I am... I, we are trying to bring now and then with us. You are yes. telling sometimes we we retain pity is yes we we all all got addicted to the fact that uh, if my body is mine is less I am less this is the addiction we got. We are always yes. addicted. A, a, a person who takes drinks uh, knows that he is addicted. But we yes. ourselves at this level do not even know that I am addicted to ignorance. Correct. I am stuck up with the things what I brought out. 
some actors uh, uh, who is acting like a krishna he thinks i am a krishna <laughs> brahme that is not correct he is only actor there similarly no that is he is in a, in a illusory world yes we are all we are all in illusory and we are in attachment and yes. not even know see a drunkard knows that he is addicted we we do not even know that we are addicted that my body is, itself is mine all yes. the weaknesses are coming because of the attachment to body <laughs> not able to know the difference between myself and the body correct see in so many times we forget so many parts about the body but still we we carry one aspect of body and think that is as final we are all addicted to ignorance dependence and stuck up there that means we are all each patients we are addicted to ignorance dependence of outside things and stuck up there we are all suffering with acquired intelligence deficiency syndrome even that is also called aids acquired intelligence deficiency syndrome see when we are discussing about all these things your wisdom is telling that yes i am non changing eternal your intelligent but we much we this intelligence See, all power is within you. Manode, Madodu, Narode, Nara, Indu. So many big words were told, but we never, we never uh, were trying to analyze. If all power is within me, why I am not able to understand? We never have put this question to us. For just having a degree, you spend fifteen years, twenty years like that for a small degree. After that, you don't find a job. You struggle like anything. Such a limited power. but when all power is about in you that is told by very great people we never bother even to think if all power is within me why i am not able to understand what is meant by all power that means we are the intelligence is there with us but we are addict we lost because of the mental laziness because of the mental laziness we stopped thinking about utilizing our own intelligence what is there never bothered to question if all power is within me why i am not able to understand this question we have never put ourselves though vivekananda told all power is within you arise and awake and we have never even thought what how to how to awake after arise any person will first become awake then only will arise but he has not used it that arise and awake that means even though we are we are moving physically but our intellect is sleeping with respect to the highest truth that i am eternal so so intelligence is there but what happened to that intelligence we are all suffering with acquired intelligence deficiency syndrome mental with mental laziness we we lost that intelligence and suffering with acquired wrong data something of mine as myself so we do not even know that we are addicted to this correct so we are worse than a drunkard because a drunkard knows that he is addicted at least so we should accept this aids acquired intelligence deficiency syndrome but luckily luckily you are all in such a track already the best solution you are there no other words are required these are, these are only things to avoid doubt so in meditation day by day you are going beyond thoughts beyond thoughts thought is nothing but the mind beyond thought means beyond mind you are traveling inward journey started and you are day by day you are experiencing higher level of peace that means the lesser the thoughts the lesser is the outside world more is the more nearer to your true self that is eternal please so we are on, you are on the way these these discussions bhagavad gita is only to eliminate some of the doubts in our mind but some something still it, it may be there in you you can individually call and clarify your doubts because 
So, such a delicate knowledge, sometimes it takes years together if Definitely. we are not coming out of the shell. Thank you, sir. Okay. Right, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks to Sadhana Giri Swamiji also. So we will, uh, friends, uh, with the great wisdom we received from both masters. So yes. Dr. Mohan Rao sir and uh, Sadhana Giri Swamiji. So we are so, today we are so happy, Bless. so, felt Bless so contented having the message from both masters, great masters. So we will go into the meditation now for a few minutes. Then we'll have a small discussion. Then we'll close the session. So thank you, Swamiji. And thanks, uh, Mohan thank Rao, sir, for wonderful message. The wonderful session today. We felt so honored and so happy, blissful today. Our Sunday is so blissful Sunday today for all the friends. Yes. 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 Thank you, sir. Swamiji. Swamiji Pranam. I need blessings. Now, please go into the meditation. Start sitting in the meditation, masters. Sit comfortably wherever you are sitting. Sthira Sukha Asana. Sit in a comfortable posture. Switch off your lights, whatever. Take away your spectacles. Sit comfortably. Close your eyes. Cross your feet. Cross your fingers. Fingers into fingers. Close your eyes. Start observing a natural breath. Simple, natural, in and out breath. Be with it. We are going to do for 5 more minutes. Only 5 minutes meditation. Be with your natural breath. Today we will do the meditation without music. Silent meditation. Be with your natural breath. Until I say okay, do not open your eyes. Be with your natural breath. Do not open the eyes until I say okay.
full breath. Do not encourage any thoughts. If any thought comes to you, cut off the thought, come back to the breath observation. Be with your natural, simple breath. Nothing is important for you now. Be with your true form, your own self. Pure form, your pure form of consciousness. Be with it. Experience it.
last two minutes, final two minutes of meditation. You are in the silent meditation. Be with yourself. Just be with your in and out breath. No more thoughts. Be with your natural breath. One minute of meditation. And your eyes for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly take your hands away, slowly open your eyes. So please come back. <clears throat> yes, friends. So today, uh, part of our holistic lifestyle, let's understand about fasting. The fasting since ages, since centuries in, uh, in India, ancient India, we have been practicing this. Our rishis and munis were in the much of practice. And in fact, it has been added as our culture, one of our culture, pra cultural practices. Most of, the, most of the houses till now also, many of the, the houses which have, which have the olden culture, olden days culture, what we do, friends, we try to pursue the Yekadasi, Yekadasi fasting. In every home, probably we observe, in many of the homes, we observe the Yekadasi fasting, right? So we practice this unknowingly, unknowingly. Of course, it has come from the centuries, from our right old, from the ages, well, since ages, since centuries, it has come to in our culture, Hindu culture itself, in our ancient Bharat. So that's why we follow that. 
sometimes knowingly or unknowingly some people know about the importance of fasting some people doesn't know about the importance of the fasting but still we pursue this right so that is why just let us know scientifically how it is important for us of course spiritually how it, how it is important for us both the ways we try to understand the fasting okay the method of fasting the method of fasting also I try to explain you to, uh, to the next extent possible so you can try to implement in your daily life friends so in our country this fasting has been in practice since ages since rishis were proponent of fasting okay scientifically the fasting gives more space for the digestion okay so what happens what happens is day in day out we eat you know like uh, three times a food many sometimes many people unknowingly they don't have uh, much you know they don't have signs of food they don't they doesn't know much about it what they do is they try to eat more times so try to eat more number of times some doctor said eat for every 2 hours that's not the correct way my dear friends so as you keep on eating what happens is the you keep on feeding the body then you all our organs will be keep on functioning you try to see uh, something like you know any any vehicle you give for service why do you give a vehicle for servicing it has been functioning all its parts have been functioning so in order to restore the health back what you do is you give it for the uh, you know garage in order to just put into order and they try to repair or whatever so that's called servicing the particular vehicle so the same way like they change the engine oil they change the lubricant uh, lubricant oil all these thing they keep all the parts in our their proper state they clean it everything so that means purely it's called of a it's kind of a cleansing procedure we follow the cleansing procedure for a vehicle so a vehicle is a go vehicle is an instrument you know a tool for you to carry from one place to other place so such an importance you are giving for a vehicle try to understand you are giving so much importance for your own a small vehicle you purchase with uh, some thousands of rupees but what is the importance of our body it is it is having value as we have been discussing today so it is a eternal it is you know the the truth is this, this itself is a truth this itself is a bhagwan so it means how valuable item you know how valuable we are our body itself is right such a complex and uh, such an amazing uh, miraculous mission i can say miraculous mission so in that case how much so how much importance you need to give for cleansing this miraculous mission so let's say body is a miraculous mission definitely is a miraculous mission no scientist can reveal the entire 100% of this body's importance and the in, in and out of the body no scientist till date no medical science or no whatever the science on this earth planet so called great sciences on this earth planet can never reveal can never can never study the 100% of this body friends so such is the miraculous mission designed by the parmatma designed by the parmatma given to us for an all individual jeevatma we got this physical body and we are traveling on this earth planet it's like a i take one vehicle and i roam in the city isn't it i take one physical body sorry i take one vehicle you know maybe a car maybe a bike whatever it may be i take that vehicle i roam around the you know city and then come back to my home similarly i take this physical body for parmatma i roam the entire earth planet or any other planet i roam entire earth planet then i go back that's all how it is okay but that the that vehicle you have taken from somebody you rented a vehicle and you roamed entire the city in that case what happened you have to put a fuel you have to take care of it you know you should not uh, uh, use it you should, you should not misuse you should not misuse it sometimes it needs like you know if it is a uh, engine get more heated you have to stop for some time all this necessary steps you have to take similarly the body is taken by you i mean your jeevatma your individual soul has got this body from the paramatma right we with the help of all panchabhutas nature five elements is made up of it is given to you how wisely you have to use how much care you have to give what is the kind of cleansing procedure what is the kind of uh, the uh, you know like uh, what is the kind of food you have to take everything is science you must understand when this physical body as long as you are living in this physical body please take care of it the way you feed the food the way you think the way you cleans cleans the body everything is an important point my dear friends otherwise it doesn't disturb you it will disturb you your your journey will not be proper that is why we see all the people who are traveling like you know with the physical body all of us are the co travelers on this earth planet we all came for a picnic assume that our this is a reality this is a truth what is the truth we all came here for a picnic for an experience we came on to the earth planet taking this physical body 
everybody has rented everybody every one of us has rented this physical body from paramatma isn't it we have rented we are in the renting house try to understand any time you have to vacate if the owner comes and say hey vacate vacate the house you have to vacate there is no there is no option there is no excuse my friends as long as you're in this rented vehicle be happy take care of it to see to that there is no cleanliness there is no dirt there is no there is no kind of a unnecessary things piling up in the house similarly in my in my physical body i have to take care of it i have to clean it now and then i have to keep it clean when it is clean what happen i feel so happy so comfortable living in the house same way if my if my physical body is very clean and having clean cleansing done now and then now and then it is so clean and pure what happened my soul resides in this physical body for long time with the longevity basically with the longevity you get longevity obviously you don't need to go on it's not a it's not a kind of a, a miraculous science where you know you don't you can't understand this you can very well understand you don't need to approach a great doctor in order to understand this simple science simple longevity uh, simple science of longevity simple science of, science of uh, you know living a natural holistic life why do you want to go to the a super specialist doctor you have to understand about your own body such a simple thing you are living inside the worka your your consciousness your soul your jeevatma you are living inside this house so called physical body keep it clean clean now and then clean now and then now and then because you are putting lot of you know you are dumping every day morning afternoon evening you are dumping so on dumping so much food so much external things you are putting inside a physical solid liquid everything you are putting inside some people are putting you know unnecessary things like you know you take a petrol vehicle you are putting a diesel inside it like likewise many people are putting an alcohol inside smoking cigarettes drugs all these are actually something like you are adding you are putting pit, put, petrol into the diesel vehicle how it, how how, the, how does the machine works friends the machine will damage likewise so many of the addictions goes like that but so anyway so now by dumping you know every every time time to time time and again we are putting so solid liquid everything into our physical body what it needs is it needs the cleansing it needs the cleansing procedure so the best cleansing procedure which is taught by our own ancient gurus masters which is is fasting let's know about fasting more okay today we are trying to understand what is fasting what is the the best cleansing process for our physical body for our rented house friends so the fasting method of cleansing which will remove the waste matter accumulated due to wrong eating and wrong living procedures okay as simple as that right whatever the metabolic waste see all the organs are functioning likewise a motor motor vehicle is always running it produces you no know, lot of wastage the lot of waste particles will come out of it because of by by continuous by continuous combustion of that particular fuel it produces lot of gases lot of particles which are all which are all the waste so that waste has to be removed during the servicing of that vehicle similarly for us also for a physical body we are keep on working and we we keep eating and we keep living with the various kind of lifestyles what will happen is obviously the because of the metabolic waste of different organs it produces some metabolic waste so in order to cleanse what you have to do is follow the fasting procedure that point of time during the fasting procedure all that metabolic waste will be cleansed sometimes the excess fat which will be eaten by your own physical body whatever excess fat will be there which is accumulated here and there in the physical body which also going to burn because your physical body needs energy what it needs it energy it needs every every organ of your, of your physical body you including your limbs all your genitals all your uh, you know the mouth and uh, all the whatever the karmendriyas whatever the vajra panchendriyas in order to panchendriyas to work in order to kanch karmendriyas to work all your inner organs to work every organ needs the physical energy that is physical energy that is the number of calories what will happen is when you don't feed any food to your physical body that is called fasting you don't take any input no no input to uh, your physical body friends maybe you can give liquids the fasting also many types liquid fasting air fasting okay solid fasting suppose you, you stop eating any solid 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 things in that particular day or for example 3 hours some people fast for 4 hours some people fast for half an day some people fast for full one day 
some people may fast continuously for one week all that is possible very much possible without food you can stay for 10 days without water you can stay for 3 day 3 year, 3 days without air you can't spend for not even one or two minutes depends upon your how much of the capability you have right so we, we, we depends upon the practice of your the prana shakti you can stay for maximum 3 to 5 minutes like the, likewise friends if you start if you stop eating solid food solid fasting if you stop eating solid and then liquid it's a liquid fasting you only survive on liquids okay if you stop if you stop the solids input what happened you survive on the liquid if you stop even liquid you start you will be surviving on the uh, something like a only on the air okay by breathing air only you are able to survive so likewise the types of fasting also many but at the same time so however whatever the input you are taking you are stopping it when you stop taking any input what happened from the external point of view all the physical foods are liquid food whatever it goes inside it stop when it is stopped what happened the excess the ex the excess amount of calories generation will be first stop because the machine will not get any input so it doesn't generate any energy the excess extra the extra excess amount of energy will not be generated when there is no external food when there is no generation of the extra energy then what happened whatever the energy you have already that will be burnt that means your the the energy the storage of your fat all this will be burnt during the fasting so that is why weight for a weight loss this is the best option the fasting is the best option let's say fasting even one day uh, one 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 day in 10 to you know one to 10 days time is beneficial as the digestive organs become relaxed and nature has since the action of detoxification of the body so that means the fasting is the best detoxification of the body friends they also need to understand so once in a like you know ekadasi fasting so if you need to do that what happen is the best detoxification procedure for the physical body okay now let's understand many diets focus on what to eat intermittent fasting is also about when to eat okay friends what will happen is many of the diets you know like uh, there are the other thing is in the market so there are so many diets you know like uh, 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 these diets are very confusing basically they are each and every nutrition come nutritionist come and says follow this diet follow that diet so i think the best diet what it is which is taught by our ancients okay our ancient ancient bharat or sanatana dharma whatever the ekadashi fasting whatever it taught by so that is more and more essential do not get confused with the so many fastings around you okay they are going to confuse you they are going to put into the trouble also i am telling you simplest fasting you need to follow so that i am going to cover here now and especially our own sanatan dharma whatever the fasting is the best fasting do not confuse some people say add this add that so by adding all these things what happen sometimes it's going to cause negative effects also in your physical body okay without knowing let us not attempt that so now the one of the the simplest and the best fasting comes to intermittent fasting most of the times friends this is very important you can understand this so very simple thing so with intermittent fasting you only eat during the specific time you eat only in the specific time this, this is called intermittent fasting it means you eat you have eaten some food at one point of time right then you give some long gap maybe like 10 to 14 hours gap so that's that is called intermittent fasting it means you are fasting intermittently not complete day or not complete days not complete weeks what you are doing in a day you are eating only one or one particular time and giving the gap so the gap will be 10 to 14 hours so such kind of thing is called intermittent fasting let's know what is the benefits of this this is, a, this is the most uh, very useful and uh, simplest to follow also in our, in our, instead of confusing ourselves the simplest simplest way to follow this uh, fasting so research shows that fasting for a certain number of hours each day or eating just one meal or a couple of days for a, in a couple of days also in a week may have health benefits very large health, health benefits are there okay the intermittent, intermittent fasting can have many benefits for your body and brain it can cause weight loss and may reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease cancer it may also it may also help your liver also to become you know liver the, to live longer like you know you get long longevity of life because of all this intermittent fasting so so how this will be followed Let's say I'll give one example in a day-to-day -day life. See, we have a dinner at 7 to 8 p.m. every day. For example, the dinner, of course, the dinner also should not be very large quantity. It should be like a, a bajra roti and having some curry, like, you know, one curry. So likewise, 
and uh, any kind of thing so which is easily digestible and small quantity if you take it at 7 to 8 pm in a particular day what will happen is after this if at all you are taking some water before going to bed you can take small small one glass of water that's all that's all we need to do so after doing that next day after you woke up six o'clock seven o'clock whatever right even sometimes if at all you have taken in the dinner itself uh sabji some kind of a you know the uh, vegetables during the daytime you know four o'clock five o'clock if you have called some some, some uh, kind of a salad salads like vegetables something if you take like that so your fiber component also in your physical body will be good then what will happen your excretion in the next day morning when you work up it will be good otherwise you need to take some water so if you do like that then about uh, when seven to eight means next day up to eight o'clock or ten o'clock you should not eat anything you should not eat attempt to eat anything up to eight o'clock maybe you have water in between just for excretion better excretion best better cleansing up you know bowels your uh, colon you can have some water otherwise you are not going to attempt even liquid even liquid if you avoid also is much better if you are getting stools properly passing stools properly you can avoid the water also right then it's this is called air fasting so something like this air fasting in the morning not even water if this is possible if you please do that because what happened in your physical body in a previous day if you have a success amount the sufficient amount amount of fiber you have taken if you have taken right then your next day morning the stools passing will be easier easier and which is much easier and normal if you, if you feel that your your uh, the cleansing of bowels are normal in the next day morning then you feel like not taking any more water please avoid it then be there without water also till about about you know up to seven or seven to eight you are taking the dinner the next day morning somewhere around eight to nine o'clock nine o'clock or something if that up to that much amount of time 12 hours time for example so 8 means 8 to 8 is 12 hours. After that, one more hour if you are 13 hours or 14 hours. So maybe 10 o'clock also. If you are not able to, if you are not taking any water also, then it's something called air fasting. This is nothing but an intermittent fasting. So with this, friends, what happens is your body will clean so much in a day-wise cleansing happens. Like, you know, every day cleansing happens. Without your intervention much, the cleansing will be keep happening every day in your uh, physical body all the new cells will be quite healthy okay what are the new cell generation as a as i told in the mention previous classes every day at least 10 crore cells will die 10 crore cells will be born the 10 crores the born uh, birth of the 10 crore cells must be taken place otherwise your health will be damaged so that will not happen if you have a lot of metabolic waste so sometime this metabolic waste will be converted if you don't clean like this with the intermittent fasting or whatever. So somebody is not able to follow the intermittent fasting, having some issues or not, you can take one particular day and fast it with a liquid. Probably only take water, adding some sometimes three, four times at the lemon, add the lemon and you know honey, light honey. Honey should be added with the normal water, not should be hot water, friends. Okay. Honey with lemon and water. So three times a day you can take. Uh, three four times then you can just pass it the only water water past so that's also possible but i'm telling this is very much possible in day-to-day -day life you can include this intermittent fasting it's very easy so likewise like this if you do all the metabolic waste will be cleansed by your physical body now and then day to day day to day to clean so that you'll be always healthy you'll be long enough living will be there and at the same time no kind of a cancer heart attacks all this will be avoided friends so in fact, uh, you know, this uh, fasting, especially in 2016, so one of the thing is in a uh, modern science, in you know, physical sciences, one of the one of the scientists has got a, a Nobel Prize for the invention of fasting. You see now, it has gone to the physical sciences and they made it as a big invention. In fact, this invented by our Rishis very, very, very long back. So we, no, no, one, none of our Rishis has got a Nobel Prize. But this has been invented by one uh, German scientist he got a Nobel Prize just for inventing that the fasting, the fasting, if you follow the fasting, it will avoid the, it will, it will take away or it will die the, the cancer cells will die naturally. That is the invention he has done. That is called autophagy. Autophagy. Auto means automatic. Phagy means eating your own cells. Your own cancer cells, your own dead cells will be eaten by your own physical body if you undergo the fasting. This is the invention happened, my dear friends. Because of this, he got a Nobel Prize. 
then how many nobel prize could have been given to our ancient bharat and uh, all our india is for so called spiritual scientists and yogis and such is you could you should give infinite number of nobel, nobel prizes because for every one self one part one for small tradition in our culture it itself, itself is a great invention for us small tradition whatever you you put tilak on the uh, hipporet right that itself is a great invention but maybe in future we may see the uh, one nobel prize for that also we don't know but i am trying to tell you for every small tradition which is within our uh, philosophy or culture that itself is a great invention i am telling you so likewise we were so we were having the huge amount of wisdom highest intelligence is there within our sarma sanatan dharma friends so this is called the a fasting friends so which more help much helpful all the tumor cells nothing will be there yeah, not, nothing will form in the future everything will be burned all the dead cell will be burned by your own physical body that is called autophagy so initially start with a 3 hours fasting after waking up and then gradually increase to 6 hours then you can have a green juice for example you woke up at 5 o'clock 6 o'clock then 3 hours gap means 6 hour, uh, so like 5 to 5 plus 3 8 if you adding another 2 3 hours extra 10 o'clock so up to 10 o'clock can be in the intermittent fasting having not even water also or if you want a glass of water then after that have a green juice one green juice you can take with a curry leaf or whatever the spinach juice whatever you make it and drink the juice that itself is good enough to give you all the required energy i will be going to cover this holistic lifestyle and the detoxification two lifestyles are there which i will be covering in the last two days of this session this 21 day session you can understand much more about it but uh, uh, for the time being we restrict to this okay now benefits of fasting are so many spiritual purification self discipline gratitude empathy all these characters will be started in your own you know mental health also physical health and well being weight loss and improved metabolism so better blood sugar control boosted immune system right so improved sleep so reduced blood pressure all this will happen my dear friends now a person needs to decide on and adhere to 12 hour fasting which i explained right now every day according to some researchers fasting for this 10 to 16 hours can cause the body to turn its all fat stores into energy which releases the ketones into blood stream so this should encourage weight loss weight loss will happen automatically you don't need to go approach some different institutions where they burn the fat they they use they take use money all this you know, that does it's not required it's a very simple process are there in your life you can follow them so intermittent fasting as the new mantra for weight loss okay so disease prevention reversal of aging all this will happen friends so eat when you are hungry which is great mantra on this earth planet in fact all the all the animal beings will follow this all the birds animals everything follow this but only human being will be keep eating because some doctor told so eat for every 2 hours will be eating then it will everything will be spoiled my dear friends that is not the way to eat so you eat as you keep on eating it keep on generating some kind of a waste inside your physical body who will be cleaning you don't know the cleansing procedure of course we'll be teaching in this uh, session itself the detoxification procedure for your physical body we are going to explain how to de- detoxify your own body so one of the detoxification procedure is fasting right we are discussing fasting the other procedures are also there we will cover it so that's why so all the all the all the animals and birds they follow this whenever they are he- whenever they are hungry they will eat when they don't eat, he feel hungry they won't eat right in the same 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 thing applicable to saints and rishis whenever they feel hungry they feel so energy they will not eat if they feel hungry they will eat something that's all so whenever you eat what happen whenever you see the food with the eyes what happen the inside secretions will start the the secretions inside like you know physical body you know stomach the secretions secretions will start the great juices will be produced with which your food will be digested always eat till appetite is quenched you should not you should uh, fill the stomach with only 50% of the space every meal time you should not fill the stomach 100% my dear friends is very bad procedure many of the people what happen they keep eating 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 till the till the you know throat they keep eating so that's not the way to eat so whenever you eat what happen 50% of stomach should be filled with the only food the solid then other 25% should be kept for the water other 25% should be kept for the space for the air always empty for the air so that's why keep keep doing like this these are the best practices in the food so that you know it will be the proper the lifestyle and then it will really leads to the the proper healthy lifestyle and also it gives a longevity of life friends okay so let's uh, this is the understanding about fasting okay now we let's understand dharani shakti mudra okay 
what is this dharana shakti mudra dharana shakti mudra it's very very important so what will happen is your lungs gets more of oxygenation the more of oxygen is happens for your lungs and then what will happen it will increase the longevity because the longer breath you take now where in the in the day time also whenever you are free if you are spending your meditation now if you are spending in the meditation what happen then your breath becomes slow and slower slower right so because of the meditation having slower breaths uh, like maybe one hour in one hour in a day what happens is it, it makes your life also longevity will be increased that is why all the great saints and munis and rishis they live for longer time because of the slower number of lower number of breaths and slower number of breaths so breath will be slowed down and number of breaths also taken less during meditation that is the benefit of uh, meditation meditation can do the reversal of age meditation can bring the longevity of life all that happen friends anyway the part of that uh, one of the mudra which is also helpful physically you can practice this so the this reduces no total number of breaths this purify the blood in our body since longer is the inhalation retention of the breath we are try, trying to when we are inhaling when we are inhaling the breath long time in this part of mudra and we are retaining the breath for long time so then with this what happen the purification of the blood also more because the oxygenation into the blood will be higher right so these are the benefits so how to practice see i'll practice i'll tell you the practice in fact this looks like a gnana mudra but it's not a gnana mudra so this has to be practiced i will tell you this has to be practiced in three steps the first step is so observe here so like a gnana mudra chin mudra stretch there uh, press the thumb tip thumb tip and uh, index finger tip tip other three fingers strike so you are while pressing while pressing this gently pressing you keep inhaling again same inhalation should continue and press at the middle of the thumb with the same index finger again do uh, go on inhale again go on, inhalation should continue then again press at the th thumb of the uh, thumb of the you know base of the thumb that is again one more pressing one more pressing here the first pressing here second pressing here second th third pressing will be at the bottom of the thumb okay so now you see here so we are pressing three times three places one is at the tip second is at the middle third one is at the bottom so likewise we keep pressing we keep you know the inhalation continues after releasing the last one then just ex exhale your breath that's all so this how what happens so we are pressing at three places the inhalation continues at the last pressing then you have to release when you release the last pressing then you start inhaling in exhalation this out has to practice friends with this what happen the retention of the breath will be increased that's all the that's all. that's more about the dharana mudra you can practice in the day times okay right so uh, let's take questions and you know any clarifications we'll close the session friends yes any doubts on the holistic lifestyle and uh, and mudra you can ask me good morning sir Manima. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Yeah. Uh, sir, what is the minimum time distance between uh, one uh, meal and two meal? Okay. Second See, meal and first meal. Minimum distance. Hmm. Right. So what happens is any meal you take, if it is a vegetarian meal, it takes about mm -hmm. one and a half or two hours for digestion. Okay. So after digestion is over, then you feel like uh, the number of calories are less. You feel like energy, physical energy is less. You can start eating again. That means about three to five hours, five hours of duration, five to six hour duration or five hours, to six hour duration. You can eat if you feel hungry again. Okay. So what happens is it should not be a practice like every two hours eating. That is not the practice. You, you must not encourage that kind of practices. So many times I observe people. They eat something now. After some time, again eat something. After some time, something eat. Something else, you know, sometimes fruit, sometimes some you know, saying uh, junk snacks, junk food. Like that, keep keep on eating what happened, friends. I'll tell you. Yes. You're much more damaging you're doing. You're not giving body. See, and also yes. people are eating at, you know, the late nights. That's much more dangerous. Yes, some people are eating at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. What happens is, now your body goes into the sleep. The body needs the cleansing activity to take place in the night time. After maybe once you switch off your lights, once you switch off the lights, you, you, your physical body is lying, lying down. What happens is your pituitary gland, it, it, knows, it knows that there is like the light is cut off 
the melatonin melatonin one is the you know secretion happens starts happening then it indicates to the physical body that you are you are, you are now sleeping in the sleeping procedure what happened all the digestion digestion procedure will be stopped and the your cleansing procedure must be started that is the activity should take place in the night time that is what the sleep that is that's the meaning of sleep actually but many times what happen we are keeping our digestion is also on and our excretion will be not proper then by the next day what happen you are not able to get the excretion properly and your digestion will be happening keep on happening in the throughout the night time then you have no mechanism of cleansing your own body the natural cleansing is taken out that that upon that window of time you are not given to your physical body then you how can how can you expect the physical health friends because you are not giving a time for a cleansing a cleansing procedure throughout the night is a meant for cleansing of physical body not for digestion of the physical uh, physical uh, digestion of the food that is not the time so your digestion must be completed by 8 9 o'clock maximum your digestion must be completed and go into the bed with the empty stomach probably with small amount of water which i told 7 8 o'clock you must finish your dinner by 10 o'clock you are digested your digestion is over see many times what happen if the digestion keep taking place in your physical body then the all the blood will be circle the blood will be foca the blood will be diverted to the stomach area okay so then what will happen your stomach will be keep working then also what happens is since the blood circulation is going on then your brain also will be in active condition because with the digestion is taking place right when the digestion is taking place the blood the brain also required brain, brain is a controller for generating all these chemicals and all these things to monitor everything the brain will be in the active condition then what will happen when the brain is in the active condition you get lot of dreams that is why your sleep is not good your night time sleep is not sound sleep you can't do the astral travel in the night time your astral body will not release because of this uh, this uh, this uh, dreamful sleep if you go into the dreamless sleep you want to go into the dreamless sleep what happen you should digest your food by 10 o'clock 10 o'clock your food digestion must be completed converted into the glucose the glucose gets into the blood it becomes energy for you just it goes on and then the all the excretion system will start functioning in the night time okay so please take care of this okay thank you thank you sir yeah. And today's session is a great session, sir. For me, yes. not for me, I think, but for all, sir, who is present here today. Uh, today, sir, uh, really, I feel some uh, connection from universe that connect to, with you and Mahotar Foundation and also to Guruji today. We got some, a lot of, not some, a lot of knowledge. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much from yes. core, my, core of my heart, sir. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yes, madam. Yeah, madam. Nice, very nice experience. I am uh, in a state of bliss now. Okay. okay. Sure, sure, madam. Thank you. Right. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Thank you, madam. Yeah, yes, uh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, basawa, basawa, basawa. Right. Ah, Mamuta Madam. Mamuta Madam is there. Raghuvir. Raghuvir. Sangeeta. Sangeeta. Namaste Guruji. Namaste Ma. Namaste. Today's session was very heart touching and uh, I cannot express in word what I felt. I was feeling very sad because so Good many enough. years. Right. Okay. So many years, my I I spent in this ignorance. Yeah. And as Guruji said, we are suffering in this, this disease, and we ourselves didn't know. So. Yes. You know, during meditation also like tears are uh, yes, I mean, allow it allow it to allow it to happen all your emotions uh, everything should go out don't worry allow it to happen it happens okay and uh, finally you know you will be in the bliss the bliss is important you definitely will achieve that okay 
just you, even if you get tears in your expression your emotion everything let it allow let it let it pass okay that's very good thank you very much sir for this opportunity i am very fortunate and i don't have word to express um the phrase uh, mudra i didn't get it clearly can you please yeah repeat? see with, with the first thing is touch the uh, the tip of thumb tip of uh, index finger then start your inhalation then the inhalation should continue touch here some time some time that inhalation should be continue keep still continue touch here also touch here also like three places one two three so in the three places we are keep touching and we are that inhalation will continue in our in within us you know the inhalation should continue after releasing here then you should exhale exhale okay likewise what happens is this is called dharana shakti mudra but this is actually gnana mudra this is a chin mudra right which uh, we try to practice for memory memory power concentration all this okay so now we are just touching here keeping for some time and shifting here teaching keeping for some time touching here keeping for some time but during this process your inhalation should continue with this what happen your inhalation within you the inhalation procedure is longer the breaths are longer the oxygenation of your lungs will be more oxygen of your lungs will be supplied more and blood will be circulated with more, will be supplied with more oxygen into it then this increase the longevity and it purify the blood also so that is how the benefits of this mudra with both the hands no ha ah, both the hands yes and how long meaning period should be minutes, 10 to 15 minutes you know okay. in a, in a day three times four times practice it just to make sure that the oxygen of the oxygen of the body is increased okay yesterday i told about my nephew you know so ah. Yeah, uh, see, admin number is there. Can I send uh, his information to you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Send yes. Send Which me. number I can send? Meaning, three admin number is there. Three four uh, admin. Is there. You can send ending with triple five. Triple five. Okay. Triple five number is there. You send that uh, to that. I will try to suggest what is the best we can do. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir, namaste. Namaste, namaste. Ah, sir. Uh, I have a request, sir, because once I we are listening to Gita as if it is not enough because it's like a vast uh, ocean. So uh, if we can in future, if it is possible to have separate sessions on your um, uh, Gita, and uh, if it is possible even uh, you know in person also, like yeah. uh, Zoom is good because nowadays we don't have time. But sometimes the person who is imparting the knowledge, if we are sitting face to face, uh, you are able to grasp much better. Yes. Uh, it is maybe I am a old timer. That is why my thought process is such. But mm -hmm. uh, I feel you get always more want positive vibes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, ma'am. Exactly, positive vibes we get, and when we sit like-minded people sit in the satsanga. Everybody enlightens everyone, so that I feel is very uh, useful. Correct. So that uh, Sravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. Sravana, Sravana will be good. Manana also will be good if uh, we have a physical session like this. Physical session, if we conduct, no, our Sravana and Manana will be much better. Okay. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. That is why we try to plan it, but uh, we requested, uh, uh, you know, uh, Doctor uh, Doctor G. We requested and he also agreed. Sometimes he will come. I think uh, it will be happening in uh, maybe in uh, November. I think so because September. Yeah, I'll try in September, October also. September anyway. We have twenty fourth. Uh, when very good uh, offline workshop. I think you will be knowing that uh, information, right? September twenty fourth. Uh, in the Mathar Foundation also we added uh, that information, so you can find there. Uh, September 24th, we are doing a one workshop, self transformation in Bangalore. Okay, so second, third, uh, second one is October 22nd. We have one more workshop, so which will be done with the one out eight years Babaji, combined with the uh, Sini my fight masters Ram Lakshman. So in October 22nd is a workshop. Okay, and after that November we uh, we will try to plan the different one, but October itself in the first week maybe I'll try to plan the uh, Doctor G's uh, Bhagavad Gita. The individual and separate session, offline session, okay, at Bangalore. Sir, requested to keep in November only, sir. 
because yeah uh, october and all many people go out because of dashera and all that and so we don't want to miss that uh, such a lovely opportunity of meeting dr g and listening from him uh, yes. directly yeah. yeah we'll try definitely we'll try hmm? okay yes ma'am viswaji the final final series we'll close the session now sir good morning sir good morning good morning yes uh, sir it was very uh, good session sir today because uh, we discussed about uh, bhagavad gita and sir has explained about bhagavad gita and every uh, shlokas uh, in uh, each topic uh, two uh, second shlokas uh, sir has explained superly nicely hmm. sir uh, one more thing sir on uh, uh, we say uh, parmatma is niraka there is no aakar and hmm. uh, and he is a uh, formless he doesn't have any form mm -hmm. and he is everywhere he is uh, in front of he is uh, behind us he is uh, left and right uh, and he is up up uh, each and everywhere even uh, one leaf can't be live without one leaf can't be uh, uh, wave without the uh, par mm -hmm. parmatma mm -hmm. so yeah. can we see that parmatma that is my question sir no you can't see anything you can only experience see now yeah, yeah. Are, you, see i'll tell you let me tell you you are uh, present now you are talking to me okay oh, yeah, who is talking you feel that your physical body is talking no your physical body is not talking your consciousness is not your consciousness is talking to me yes yeah, sir you are thinking that your physical body is talking that is a that is an illusion so that is yeah, not sir. the truth truth is your consciousness your soul itself in the form of soul consciousness whatever is the names you call that yes. through that the through the, that is an energy it produces the energy the, the energy produces the thought okay the thought yes. the, the thought what it comes into your mind then it is converted your physical body is getting converted that thought into the the physical words physical expressions and then you are expressing to me okay some yes. thought, whatever it is whatever you are doing now this is the activity this is the functionality of the your consciousness Okay. yeah 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 so we can experience uh, yeah. at itself no i am telling you the, this itself That's is the right. evidence of the parmatma without yes, parmatma you know without the existence of parmatma you and me the entire yes, cosmos it is no more here yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Right, sir. not even right, one second not even one second it is not here yeah yeah sir we can experience it sir but uh, we can't see him sir no, means no. parmatma you can't see him no, you can't yes, see your with what you can see your physical eyes are not sufficient Okay? Yes, sir. Your third eye is there. You can see some glimpses, some yes, some sir. of the experiences you can take. You can yes, visit sir. some different uh, locas, different masters. You can you can meet them. Only that much you can do. If your soul eye, third eye is yeah. your soul eye, soul eye. Okay, we have yeah. physical eyes. Uh, our physical physical, you know, they, they are grana netra, uh, the, the, yeah. the, the, the physical netra, right? Yes, sir. So this physical netra is there. Second one, mano netra is there. Third one is gnana netra is there. So oh, yes, second one is my, the uh, mano netra. Mano netra means with your mind also you can visualize somebody. You can think about it. Do all this, no? So that's called yes. mano netra. And your gnana netra or divya netra. So that is called third eye. So that is possible by practice of meditation. It will come. Yes, sir, yes. Sir. The story come when when you achieve the third eye. Till that you know you keep practicing. Then whatever yes, you are talking now, whatever you want to experience, right? That experience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. But you need yes. to practice more and more practice. Yes. Then we will come to that point definitely. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, friends. So namaste to all. So we will meet tomorrow. So thank you. Namaste, all. sir. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.